guest tonight. Please welcome part four of Eric Griffin. <laughs> I, I, just, just let's ease into it, man. I just, you were I, making fun of my bathroom right when you walked in. No, okay. Okay. Since you want to open up <laughs> yeah. with your bathroom, yeah. let, let's open up with your bathroom. <laughs> so Steve has... Okay, first of all, I don't know if you guys have seen the room. You know how there's a piano in the room and there's like a bed? Yeah. So in the bathroom, because it's hot as fuck in here when it's like in the summer. Yeah. So Steve has an AC, but check it. There's only one window in the place that can, it's in the bathroom. Cover, like over the, like let's say this is the toilet. Yeah. You're sitting in the toilet. The AC comes about this far out. <laughs> so Dude, what? basically I can't shit in your toilet. Uh-huh. Because I'm can. too big. No, I can't. You can't. Oh, because it's sticky. because it'll be sticking here, and I'll be. How would I wipe my ass, Steve? I would have. Okay. Hey, I got. I, this is all I got. You know, I gotta can make you do. I put, gotta make do with what I can got. Can you at least put a fan so like you can get the cold air? Oh yeah. Yeah, you just had a fan blowing from the bathroom out. Okay, you're right. Listen, I'm gonna do a, a mind uh, exercise. I'm gonna guess. A mind. I'm gonna read your brain. I don't look know. at those three. Hold, hold on, on hold wait, hold, no, no, no. I don't know what We're has happened. Do this, right? I don't know what has happened to we the Stevie do- Weeby show since I've been here. <laughs> no, but this scary Korean intro, like, 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 like the dread. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, just hold up, hold up. But I have to. Okay, before you start, let me mm-hmm. just let me see your left wrist. Okay. No, I have to. I have to monitor. Look at the cards. Look at the cards. I'm looking at the cards, Steve. <laughs> Pick one color. Okay. There's a red card, a yellow card, and a blue card. Okay. Do you have a do you have a I have the card. In your mind. It's in my mind. You can't change it. I'm not gonna change it. So there's one color. Yeah. You, you can't change it. You can't just say? <laughs> no, no. So now you're going into magic? Is that what <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? So you go from podcasting to magic? <laughs> this is not magic. It's um, Reiki energy of reading. So magic. <laughs> no, it's, it's called it's Reiki energy healing. Oh, my God. Stevie, right, Weeby, so, the, Stevie Weeby the Gathering. That's what you should call right, this. So this is my answer. What color was it? Blue. He wrote, I don't know. Steve is doing magic! <laughs> what? <laughs> that's probably that's the greatest thing ever done on your podcast. <laughs> Look how proud he is. Did you go to like a class at the learning annex? Was it no, like see what I had to do is uh through this Reiki energy healing, the reason why I had to I, I put two two of these energy um mm-hmm. triggers on your wrist. Right. And once I I know it sounds crazy, but once I studied the, your your pulse rate, it was like one, one, two, three, and then I knew right away it was blue. Oh, 
How are you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about uh, how was your um, trip, your comedy thing with Dane Cook? Because I saw pictures of you on a goddamn jet. I want to hear all about that. Okay, we'll get to that. Yeah. But I have a question for you first. <laughs> no, hold up. I'm the no, one. That no, I, this is no. my platform. <laughs> I ask the questions. So how was Kate Hudson with Bobby? That's what I want to know. It was fun. Yeah, so y'all can go on other podcasts now, but I can't get you guys together. But Kate Hudson calls, hey, listen, and you motherfuckers no. are like, let's go to Kate Hudson's place. There we go. What? That was a long time ago. The disloyalty. No, no, no. Listen, hear me out. Hear me How out. long ago was it? That was before I split from... Um, Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I, I forgive you then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was... That, it's not even out, though. Yeah, it's it not. is out. Oh, is it? I think it is. Yeah, because uh, Bobby put a post up about it. Oh, I guess oh. It, I guess they're airing it. Yeah. Shout out right, to okay, now we can talk Kate about Hudson. whatever we want to talk mm-hmm, about. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't feel as bad about it okay, anymore. Okay, okay. Um, it was great, you know? Dane was on the podcast. He was on my podcast. Mm-hmm, he was on mm-hmm. Riffin' with Griffin. Mm-hmm. Go to Riffin' with Griffin. And... Um, you know, we were just talking about it, and I said, "Yeah, he's going on this tour." And I was like, "Hey, I'd, I'll come do some dates." You know, that sounds like fun. You know, yeah, big dude. stadium, big kind of a, like, like big theaters. You know what I mean? I mean, how many people showed up to? It those was like twenty five hundred, three thousand seat kind of places, right? So you know, he, 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 he it hadn't happened yet yeah. for a long time. Right, right, right. Like almost months and months, and he's still on this tour. And I thought, ah, oh, whatever. Then he called me and asked me, like, "Hey, can you do this date? One of these dates?" And I was like, "No, I couldn't do it." And then eventually, it came. Like the last, this is one of the last week of the tour. Like, you know, Damn. last two weeks of the tour, I was yeah. like, you know, and he was like, yeah, so it was great. I mean, I, like, he's like, don't worry about it. Private jet. What's you up? You ever flown on a fly, private no, jet? I don't even oh, know what my one of those things God. are. I have no idea what it looks like. Well, the best part about a yeah, private jet. Describe it. it. The best part about the private jet is the fact that you're driving like right. Your My car was next to the jet. Okay. What? So that's the first thing I loved. You pull up. They take your bags out for you. They put it all in the thing. Is there a secret location? No, in Van Nuys. Van oh, Nuys. Van Nuys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you pull up. All right, then you're there. So they put your stuff in the car. Then they take your car. They give you a little valet ticket. You're like, okay, great. Right? Ugh. You're in this. So you get in the jet, and I was like, wow, this is, it was very plush. Dude, it's like a movie. His his uh, tour. Wall Street his, I know. His tour Jeez. manager had like, um, what do you call it? Um, Food ready for us. They had already taken my order, and they had the Wait, food ready. Well, they had the cook on a jet? No, 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 no. They, oh, already, they, okay. had, their, they had like a little, oh, like, my pre- God. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a He's, oh, not, okay, he's okay. not Donald Trump, okay. bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry. I don't know much about So then about we had, like, the food, and, and then and so we, when the we, first place we flew is we flew to Tulsa. You know, so we t- Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. We land in Tulsa. It was great. There's the internet on the plane. I was, like, Shh. clowning around with Matt Rife. Who, who else was with you? It was me, Matt Rife, and Dane. That's the other white guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've known him forever. I've known him since he was like, he used to live in Cleveland and he wanted to be a comic. And then, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 when yeah. he first came out here, I let him stay with me while he was getting his shit oh, together. He's up. like a yeah. brother, little brother yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, so we're having fun in the, you know, in the, in, in the jet, just, you know, messing around. It's great. We're laughing. And I'm like, God, I'm on a jet. You don't have to have your seatbelt on. You know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> you know, there's food, you know, there's like yeah. drinks, all kinds of stuff. So we land in Tulsa, we do the show. Okay, so we get out of the plane and we go to like the our green rooms. So I, I you, there's enough. It's a big enough green where you could take a shower and there's showers. Yeah, the shower. So I get ready. Then after the show, dude, check this out. We get back on the jet right after the show, like 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and we fly to Austin. From Oklahoma to Austin. Yeah, we get to Austin. That's crazy. So we land in Austin. Jeez, it's like you're SUV. a movie star. I know, dude. SUV, Jeez, SUV. you're like SUV. Leonardo DiCaprio on a jet, man. <laughs> SUV, What's going SUV's on? SUV's waiting for us. Then we go to the Four Seasons. Isn't that like a five star hotel? It was crazy, and we didn't. No, I want to, dude. We didn't even check in. Describe the hotel. Oh, uh, for come on, man. The Four Seasons is nice. Yeah. Well, but, not everyone knows what does. You know, I'm Motel well, Six we, guy. Yeah, you and your listeners wouldn't yeah. know about Four okay. Seasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, dude, seriously, you never know. I know we're like Travel Lodge, Motel Six people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys describe, are. You guys, all right, you guys. The difference. Are you guys at the skate park right now? <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Watching Steve's podcast. <laughs> Eric, listen. Uh, what are the? Are major- you guys at Echo Park right now? Who are? <laughs> listen. Describe the differences between a Motel Six and a. Four- Four seasons. Oh man! What it, are the main differences? Oh, dude, it's they have beds, showers. You know, Motel Six got showers and beds. Uh, yeah, it's just the luxury of it. You know, the attentiveness. What? The rooms are bigger. The the sheets don't feel like broken dreams. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so how much would it cost for a 
person to stay in one of those rooms a night? You know, I don't know, but I bet you it's pretty pricey. Take a guess. Well, I stayed at the Mandarin Oriental in uh, <laughs> Boston. <laughs> yeah. That's a hotel. Oh, okay. I thought you were messing I around. I thought I was being yeah, like, I thought you'd be, I thought Asian you're, racist yeah, over I thought here. Yeah, you're doing Look at him, always ready for it. What? <laughs> Even though I do think that name's a crazy name. But anyway, that, that ho- I was staying in a room that was like 750 a night. Damn. Yeah. Which is crazy. Okay, you know? so. So then, so keep, I, I keep think. Keep going, keep going. So, so you when, get to your room. No, no, we get to the back of the hotel, some weird entrance. You don't. People are waiting for us. We walk through the kitchen to an elevator. We, oh, yeah, we walk. We, yeah, it's we, like Goodfellas. Yeah, dude. We, we go up to the whatever level our rooms are on and we go right to our rooms. Didn't even check in, bro. So we had to show the next day. And then the next day after that, we flew to Dallas. Same kind of thing. And then after the show in Dallas, we flew home. And I, Jeez. my car was waiting for me right there. Oh, my God. That's the life. Dude, now, when I'm getting off a Southwest flight, I'm like, where's my car? Right, 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 right. <laughs> now, how, you know I mean? how common is that? Because there's, there, you know, there's been comedians on this podcast. No one's told me stories of... Riding on a jet, Dane Cook, flying to Dane Cook was seasons. one of the biggest comics in the world for a long time, dude. He's, I forgot how big that dude is. Yeah. Big. He's right? been in the business a long He's time. He's like the Eminem of com- uh, at the time comedy. That he, or at the time that he was at his height, he made a lot of money, and he still has it. <laughs> so, I mean, did you make? I mean, you don't have to say the dollar amount, but you, did you make a good chunk of change doing that? It was fine. I'll just say that I want it. <laughs> it was fine. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you would like you would have called your mom. You oh, <laughs> wait, wait, listen. I'm gonna you would have you called your girlfriend. We did it, baby. <laughs> so that means thousands of dollars. It was fine. It was a fine amount. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you this: Could I have bought in a 2005 Toyota Corolla with the money if I if I did that tour? A 2005. A 2007 Toyota Corolla. Now you're moving it up. Now it's a 2007. 2000, yeah, 2005 to 2007. Steve, Toyota you can Corolla. already get a 2005. 2010. With with that Dan Cook money. You have to be saving your money because where does it doesn't go in here? <laughs> no, hold up. I have a problem with that. What is wrong with my apartment, man? Nothing. You're a minimalist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let's not say apartment like that's so that's a loose term. <laughs> All right, room. What qualifies something Ro- as an okay, apartment? My room. Right? My room. Yeah, your dwelling that you have here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. He's um, rich for Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got Hollywood money. You could have a 2005 Corolla out there right now. It would so? get stolen, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm surprised out of all this stuff. My my air conditioning. System in the bathroom. You didn't say anything about the Christmas lights I put up. Oh, were those Christmas lights? <laughs> okay, well that. <laughs> that okay. Wait, we got to take a. Oh. Yeah, I thought those were just like the lights for the place. No, I don't know that these were like actually holiday. No, no, those are seasonal decoration. Those these are, are seasonal oh, lights. Okay. Yeah, those are seasonal. Steve. Yeah. These are white lights. Yeah, those are Christmas lights. No, you're just saying they're Christmas lights. They are though. No, because it's they only you're, sell those. They only sell those during November, December, and January. Steve, if you go to these Target, are lights that are outside of Nordstroms or something like that. You know, on a tree outside of Nordstroms. They're Christmas. Twenty four hours. They're seasonal. Of, can you get they're a red seasonal. or green light on there? I like the white lights. You don't. Oh, you want the red, the the that yellow, purple. That would make purple. it Christmas. You got thought, white lights up. But those could pass as Christmas. Those could pass. I don't want to argue about the lights. Okay. I, right. I love how you have convinced yourself. <laughs> those could, but those could pass. And this is a mansion. <laughs> All right. It's a room. Hey, listen, listen. We in a mansion and we have Christmas decorations. <laughs> it's a room. You yeah. know what? Since you're here, I want to switch it up a little. Because oh, we do Jesus movie Christ. reviews. Yeah. Which I just saw. Uh, uh, what is it? Dr. Sleep. I did too. Did you see it? Let's talk about. Oh, it. Let's I'm so talk- glad you saw okay, it. Now it's time oh, for our review God. of Doctor Sleep. Sleep, sleep. With sleep, Ewan sleep. McGregor. What'd you think? I thought it was weird as hell, man. I like the beginning. and yeah. the Middle. Oh, the I, end. I, lo- we lost. They lost me at the end. I totally agree. Because it got it got too like Harry Potter. You know what I mean? Like it was very like magicy. No, I didn't. Why did they have to go back to the? I didn't understand. You anything. know what I'm so, saying? Okay, I don't. I don't understand that. Here's my questions: Who were the bad guys? 
Like, give me a little origin of them. Like, tell yeah. me what they are. Exactly. Are they vampires? Yeah. They, yeah. What are all right, they? So the bad guys, they all have the shining. Well, they well they suck mat. They suck the the. They call like the, whatever the people's essence is. Yeah, the, the smoke, essence. The steam. The steam. Yeah. They would. They, they 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 get the steam. They eat that. But I didn't understand. But who, where do they come from? Yeah, who are the, they? The old, the old homie that died, the older dude that died, he yeah, was yeah. ending his cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, they made reference to him. Like she was saying, like he's you been survive, around since, since Roman the Empire. Kings yeah, uh, were there, and you know, like it seems so kind of weird. But see, if he if they'd been around that long, you think that they would be living better than like these like campers. Like RVs, like yeah. cross country. You think they would be like living better or something? Like he could yeah. just die that easily? He's yeah. been around for thousands of years and, and the, all of a sudden let's he just give, dies? Let's give context to Weird. who we're talking about. So these groups of people are the bad guys. Yeah, right? and we don't even know what they are. We don't know. They yeah. they have the, the the shining ability. Yeah. There's one leader, which is a woman, mm -hmm. who wears like this Harry Potter top hat. or yeah. She wears this... Charlie Chaplin had. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. And, you know what? Is she more powerful than the other ones? Because I don't even she could know. She can fly and teleport. Well, and she couldn't fly. She was like projecting proje herself. She yeah, was yeah. astral projecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of her. But how the hell are you gonna find this one kid? Well, I kind of got. I kind of. I, I don't. See, I, I, don't was, I was confused. No, like, I don't how mind she... that because the girl found them first. You know? Right, so she left a mark. Yeah, some kind of like GPS. Telepathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, some kind of like yeah. magic GPS. But I just, I agree with you. I thought the movie started great. Like, McGregor was great. Like, you were following his story. Okay, so let's give context to that. So you and McGregor plays Danny from The Shining, the kid from The Shining. Danny. Which I didn't even know. The Shining's, the Shining's so old. It's from, that, yeah, like, it's like It's so old that, like, I didn't get anything. I didn't even remember The Shining. It was you know, so weird. I didn't like how they recast. They should have used the old clips of the original. I don't like how they recast those characters. Maybe they tried and it just didn't it look just, as good. No, it just they lost me, man. No, no, but maybe it just didn't look like it just looked too weird or something. But that that girl looks just like their main girl because they reshot that scene and it looked just like just her. that one scene yeah, convinced yeah, yeah. me yeah. where she's where. Uh, but everything else, she was like the Overlook just Hotel, like, right? Eh. The, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. the axe and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's. Here's I thought that Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's the only Danny, thing I know of The Shining. So I didn't you, even know The Shining was about magic shit. Did you about, know that? Yeah. The I knew The Shining had to do with a gift, a mental gift that Danny had. I didn't know where, that. You Did know, you know that, Craig? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't. I didn't even remember that. That's why I was saying it was so weird to me. Oh, okay. So because I didn't even remember that. Let's define. Okay. So The Shining. It's just magic. It's basically a uh, maybe even a superpower. No, it's no, a no, special no, no. It's gift. just. It's just. But and they all. It's different it's like, for everybody. You're, you're right. Somebody's but, a pusher. Somebody's a whatever. But a you lot know. of some of them can mind read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. could like t uh, communicate with you in your mind. Yeah. So Danny's grown up now. Yeah. Right. He's grown up. He's well. He's gone lost. through a lot. Well, he's gone through. Well, look back up. Okay. You know his that was his father was Jack Nicholson, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So his dad was a psychopath and, and he, an alcoholic and an alcoholic. So yeah. he and his mom was died, and so he was like not living right. You know he you know he he became an alcoholic. He was a drifter. He was a drifter, a homeless guy, yeah, alcoholic, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he yeah. finally got his shit together. And he ended up in just a remote town. Yeah. Um, getting going to twelve step meetings. Yeah, we could yeah, say yeah. that he was yeah, getting yeah. sober. Uh huh. And then somehow through this crazy story. He gets in contact with this See, one kid. That's another thing I, I don't understand, understand either. How that, that happened. well, that kid got in contact with him. Remember? But she how said did her, she know? She said hello on the well, oh on the chalkboard. Yeah. Well, think of it like, think of it like like a radio broadcast. Like think of it like a CB radio, yeah. and everybody has different frequencies, and maybe the magic people have a certain frequency that that they can hear each other. Like oh, like the Jedi's or the force. Yeah, exactly it's something like, the force. like that. Yeah. Yeah, the old man in the original oh, I don't, Shining. This is, I'm going to have to... You know what we should do, Steve? Oh, so you don't know these references. Steve, you haven't seen Steve, The Shining Steve. in a while. Yeah. We should watch The Shining together. Yeah. We should watch... You know what we should do is we should watch The Shining together and record ourselves watching The Shining. That's a great idea. And then we talk about it. That's a vlog. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Right? Yeah. You just set the cameras up. Yeah. You can do it in my living oh, room. Oh, you know what they call those response videos. Yeah. It's a response video. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So it's kind of hard talking about if you don't remember the. I didn't. I never original. saw the show, but we we could just this. We'll, we'll come back to this. Okay. That'll be on my podcast. That means it'll be like a. Of course. You know what I mean? We'll do like a. No, it's like continue with part two. 
Right? I'm down. Whatever you this need. Motherfucker. Whatever you need. I'm. You know I'm you there. You and Kate, Kate Hudson, right? <laughs> Dude. Oh, easy. That was low. That was low. No, but I, the, wasn't, uh, I didn't. I, like, I agree with you, though. I thought the movie started great, and it was a f- easy to follow, and yeah. then it just got weird. I just wanted some answers. I wanted to know who these people were, why why are they like this, and if they if they haven't grown, then they were around back when... They're like vampires. They but are. I'm saying they were around back when they're original, when he was a kid, too. They they, they were, you know what I mean? So they, Oh, they even, you know what? You're right. And they didn't even make any reference to that, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. she, she says, like, how come we didn't find you? And it was, like, weird... You know, then like, I didn't understand who there's the, no who, origin who, story with them. Yeah, and who's like the black dude? I didn't understand. It. Like, was he just a figment of his imagination? No, 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 no. He was the in the original Shining. Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. We gotta watch it. Yeah, he was. We're gonna have original, to watch. That was the only um, casting that I thought they got right because oh. he looked exactly like that guy in the original. Exactly, almost. Exactly. Well, I just I, but then I, you know what? I wasn't bored, but I was kind of like, uh, you know, I had what's a problem happening? with them. Going to the Overlook Hotel to yeah, for the then, last battle. No, no, no. It, it, I don't know why. Tell me why that's a place of evil. You know what I mean? Like, tell me why that place is the well, place. You know. In the original is because there's a lot of deaths and murders. Yeah, well, in the original, yeah, well, Craig see, was saying in the original, it's not enough. And there, there, there's history there with the butler. You know, I know, the, but it wasn't the daughter, enough. Like he, he killed his whole family there. Yeah. And there's history there, but they didn't really explain exactly how. He, and then the coffins in the maze, like I was confused. Like I didn't know that happened. That there was coffins for each one of those spirits. Oh well, no, no, that he like. No, no, I don't no, no, no. See, that. I understood that is like the black dude told him to make um, a oh, place a box, in your mind, a box in, your, in mind, your mind, and that's where you put people. So and he, that's what he. Oh, so it was like metaphorical. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. He I was get trying to put her in. But there. my main problem, and me and Craig were talking about this, is they they went about that wrong because the, in a way they brought it was like. A haunted house at that point, like they just all of them come out of nowhere and kill the. You know yeah, well, he saying? let them out. Right, but I just I thought they could have. It was. I just liked how creepy it was in the beginning because the creepiest ghost was that naked old lady in the bathtub. But she was in the original. Oh, but that's, remember in the room? I don't remember oh, the fucking okay, original. Oh, okay, okay. So that old he lady never listens. You know what I mean? I said like but, four times. All right, but that old lady, <laughs> that old lady was in that room. Like, oh, yeah. that they makes sense. They used her though. We were talking. She's scary though. That's why. Yeah. yeah. But if you see the original, it's like yeah. Yeah, I just, I just okay. Watch it. We should do that. That's what we will do next. But how about this? Uh-huh. We'll do that for sure. Uh huh. We got to do something about this Star Wars fiasco. What's the fiasco? There's a lot of I just drama. Got, I just got there's, Disney Plus, by the way. Woo, it's there, good. There's a lot of drama around um, the rise of Skywalker. Why? They have like three different endings. Everyone's fighting on set. There's like. Well, yeah, because. They're calling back in George Lucas. Kathleen Kennedy's firing people. There's a lot going on. Really? So, yeah. So they're, they're reshooting? Yeah, they, I mean, I don't know right now. And stuff? Yeah, they're doing new edits because the ending is bullshit. <laughs> what a, what do you know? What do you know of the ending okay, so far? I told Craig this. In the, I mean, this is fine because this will be out during, yeah. you know, whatever. I don't care. Spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> this is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. <laughs> if you don't want to listen to this, turn it off. Man. No, let's keep it on. Whatever. We don't even know if this is true. Yeah. We don't even know if this is true. This is what, this is what I've been this researching. This is Stebawedia. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Ray, at uh-huh. the end. Joins mm-hmm. with Kylo Ren. Mm-hmm. They join forces mm-hmm. to duel with the Emperor. Kylo Ren dies through so that. So the Emperor's back. Yeah. The Emperor's okay. back. I don't know how. I don't know how they did that. It reminds me of Family Guy. It might something, be a hologram. Something it might Skywalker. Be a hologram. We don't know. <laughs> but Ray just ends up kicking the shit out of the Emperor like nothing. Yeah. Okay. So you're telling me. Wait, this is why I have a problem with this chick from the beginning. Like, but so, so you're, you're tell- just a Jedi master from like jump. Well, but this Living is, this in the is, desert, this, this bitch is, got Jedi power. That's what I'm saying. It don't Yoda, make any sense. How, how about Yoda couldn't even do it? Yeah. Yoda couldn't face him. Yoda. That's Yoda true. couldn't defeat the Emperor. It took Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader right. the Return of the Jedi, and that was a fluke because he was looking the other way and he picked well, him up she, and threw him down well, the she's not. He's the, not really real. I'm sure he's like a ghost. No, but they end up dueling. They end up fighting somehow. They oh, do had they fight. I don't know. So, but I have a problem with that because it's like, so you're telling I'm me. I can hit you. You're telling me, <laughs> you're telling me, uh, Ray, Ray right? Uh-huh. She's the baddest Jedi in the whole goddamn galaxy out of nowhere. And she well, in was, the history of Jedi, it seems like. In the history. Yeah. Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of done with the, like the whole Skywalker clan. I kind of just want them to be like, 
like a lot of other shit was going on in this universe. I'd love to just see that. Yeah, I haven't started Mandalorian. Mandalorian's yet. out this week. But I, I was so excited about Disney Plus, man. I was just yeah. looking at it because my favorite one was The Vault is open. So tell me so you more. Can see I'm like, just learning. I just learned about this today. So Disney, they have a streaming. Yeah, service. their own streaming service. Okay, what, what what are they gonna put on there? Everything, all the Disney Vault stuff, like Lady and the Tramp, Cinderella, what, you all know, the old, old school all, cartoons, all the old school cartoons, all the Marvel stuff. And even movies like Remember the Titans and like I like that movie. There's all those kind of movies too, hey, and all you, the original shows. But but by the way, okay. I have I have Hulu. If you already have Hulu, you you, you could just add Disney Plus to that. It's great. So what do you think? What are the advantages of of going on Disney Plus? You can you see exclusive stuff you can't? I'm sure. I'm sure that I'm well, sure man, I'm sure so that you won't be able to see any of their movies anymore other than there. I'm yeah. sure they're gonna, sure it's going to be like. Let's say like like Avengers Endgame. Is yeah, on there. yeah. So I'm sure that now it's gonna be, you'll be able to get it on DVD, and then you'll be able to get it on Disney Plus sooner than it goes to say Netflix and the other places. Yeah. Can I tell you? Because the, they're not gonna they're not gonna turn down money. You no, know no, what I mean? no, no, no. Can I tell you the two other endings that I heard about? Yeah, let's hear. It. Okay. So another option is, and this is. I think that's what George Lucas called back in. He got called back in. We got to invest in some chairs, Steve. <laughs> okay, I told you about this shit last uh, time. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Um, Keep going. <laughs> so, Ray. Um, and you don't know this is for sure, right? This no, is just these you are speculating? Just, these are theories. But no, but these are, you know. I'm theories just, from what? From insiders through, I don't know, YouTube okay. All right, go. channel, whatever. People who are like geeked out about it. All right. Who they, do, they have their inside sources or whatever. Ray gets pregnant. So, another one. Is that happens, and Ray at the very end says, "My name is Ray, Ray Skywalker." So she's she takes the name of a Skywalker. Another option. I thought it was gonna be like an homage to the original, and she actually is a Skywalker. No, she just takes the name of it. Oh, another one. Another theory is she's the granddaughter of the Emperor. Hmm. Well, he was the emperor. You you know he was no, but laying she, pipe. No, no. Oh, I know, I know for sure, for sure. He was the emperor. Oh, you know for what I mean? Sure. Bring her uh, in. You know. But another one, the George Lucas one, I believe is. It's he's got, by the way, he's terrible too, though. What are you talking? George about? Lucas is a terrible writer. Craig, do you want to defend George? <laughs> Thank you. Episode one through three, he was responsible for oh, Jar Jar Binks. Oh, Phantom Menace. He was in Jar. All I those, forgot about that. I forgot yeah, about that. Those stories weren't great. All right, all right. I don't want to say he's horrible. a terrible yeah, ride, but those like are bad. he didn't do his best work with right. these last some of those Star Wars. Let me retract my statement and say it like that, a little nicer. Um, so the ending of the third ending is, it's an unknown kid that we've never heard about who ends up being the last Skywalker. Or the rise of Skywalker. Oh, the kid that was no, 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 a kid sweeping. Had, no, no, a kid. Maybe a kid in, on Tatooine. Uh, we don't know. We don't. Yeah, but know. that kid from the casino has Jedi power. What are you talking? Remember, about? The, kid was sweeping. the kid was sweeping, and the broom like did it on its so own. So maybe he, it's him. There's a lot of Jedi's around. I think the Jedi power but is why, back. <laughs> but why would you do that? Because we're investing these other dude. Listen, characters. All right, man. here's my here's what I want. Okay, come up with your own ending. This is what I thought. Okay, it would I already be got like, one for you. That. She actually is like, like, maybe not Han Solo. It would have to be Luke Skywalker, right? Like he in his travels before he got to the island. You know what I mean? He got got somebody pregnant. Who Luke? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or no, no, it can't because I know because I want Kylo Ren and her to be brother and sister. How would that work? That's what I want. I want them to be brother and sister. No, nope, so that's like an homage to the. You well, know what Kylo I mean? Kylo Ren is Han Solo and Princess Leia. Right. So how son. can they be? So, so maybe means- maybe Han is, but see the Han has no Jedi power, so it don't make no sense. Yeah, Han. it would have to be Princess Leia well, had a secret it's baby. <laughs> it's in her blood. It's in her blood. Right. So she had a secret baby. Maybe so, I don't know. So Princess Leia was messing around. Yeah. And then they had he had she had another kid. Yeah, something like that. And it that. was it was Ray. Right. But see that would, we, they wouldn't do that. Princess Leia wouldn't. Are you excited to watch it? It's it's out in a few weeks. I'm not excited to watch it, but I'm going to watch it. Are you going to watch it? I'm going to watch it. That's another thing we're going to do. That's the next time I come on this one. Is is we're we, we, going we're we're to like do a little video of us going to see the movie. Oh, a vlog. Yeah. Okay. Why do you like, he, I love how he has to say that. 
Like it, to justify it in no, his head. No, because I'm trying to put it in categories. Why? Because okay, I'll tell you why. Let's go. Let's get. Let's get. Let's. Uh, the the next issue is. Uh, I mean, topic is content. Okay. Again, yeah, Steve, yeah. I, people I love are talking. so sick of us talking about. I, I love talking. How are we about gonna make our podcast better? <laughs> I want to talk about content because uh, I'm doing so many different types of content. You I are. Like, I love Stevie I, on the street. You do? Yeah. Uh, and the, what about the puzzle? We're doing puzzle videos. Oh, I haven't. Too. Oh God, oh, you haven't seen that. Puzzle videos? What are you just like? Where I get frustrated. You playing Sudoku? <laughs> <laughs> that is a. Fu- you know what? <laughs> A 25 minute video of just Steve like, ah, I can't. It's me. Is, is it a nine? <laughs> it's me getting frustrated doing pu- uh, puzzles. puzzles. Yeah. Oh. So I'm doing Stevie, the unboxing video. The uh, regular vlogs are back. Yeah, so but, that's why when I say vlog, I like Steve, to put things in categories. That's every all of your videos. Steve getting frustrated with, and then you just add something, and then that's be your video. Steve getting frustrated, taking a shit in his... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But when I do the unboxing, I don't get frustrated because I'm opening up packages. No, they don't see you get frustrated, but oh. you've had to, like, box... Uh, you've had to, like, open the boxes. You yeah, fucked up messy. the video. It gets messy. And then you had to put everything oh, back. Oh, dude, there's one, there's one time... Wait, hold up. All right, I like what you're doing. I like what you're doing. It's okay. You can do it uh, as uh, much as you want. Uh, I, used the, I used this Canon video. Right and and I didn't I forgot to zoom like the <laughs> zoom I forgot to do something on this. How many times did you and have to so do that video? I me- I had to redo it. How many times? Twice. Yeah. So he did because two the times. First time he unboxed in my push it back. My head was cut out of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling you. See the impatience. I, I wasn't framed right on the. On the camera, so I had to act. I had to like go back and put all this stuff back in the boxes, and then reshoot it. Like, oh, I'm doing it for the first time, but I let the viewers know, like, listen, I messed up, so I'm just gonna. I want. Did, did you have the same unboxing energy? It went down a little bit. <laughs> it went down a little bit. So you have yeah. your unboxing. Yeah, unboxing. Stevie on the street. Stevie on the street. Stevie the pu- does puzzles. Puzzles. What else? Um, vlogs are back. What do you mean vlog? I just went to Joshua Tree with my girlfriend and my dog, Kirby. Oh, got you. So I brought I haven't camera. seen the dog. The dog she she took the dog? The she's holding it hostage. The, <laughs> the dog is with her family. She sends you videos. Marry me or this dog is dead. <laughs> uh, I'm, I have patience with you. Do, does the dog have to show yeah, proof of life? Like no, he has to <laughs> The dog's fine. Kirby's fine. Kirby's, Kirby's fine. Kirby's in walnut right now. At our at yeah. our at a real place that has like a, a yard. With a yard. Yeah. Nice. Oh, your dog family. comes back here. Your dog is like, what the fuck am I living like? <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm going to let you keep doing that. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? You again. know what? You did again. the right thing for your dog. That's what you did. You did the right thing. Look, he's one more happier there. Yeah. Thanks again for uh, doing the Kill Tony thing. I'm a bit like, I'm a little bit, I don't know what to, ex- like, it's fine. You'll be fine. But just but, do what you do. But but what is it? It's a variety comedy show. <laughs> now let's talk this out. And we're on the panel. We're on Steve, the panel. You're overthinking it. And there's a band. <laughs> let's talk this out, man. It's gonna help me out because yeah. I don't know. He he. People put their names in a hat. Yes. Up and coming comics put yeah. their names in a box. Tony pulls them out. The people come out. They do one minute of comedy. And we. Critique? And then after they yeah we talk to the person. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so that have you done it before? Yeah, I've done it a bunch okay. of times. The, I didn't realize how big it was. Yeah. Like they it's hit the be road. Great. Okay. Let's talk about okay, what are we I like, God man. We didn't even it. finish the Doctor Sleep. Did you like it or not? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll, I'll Do you give, recommend I'll it? I'll give it a B minus C plus. Oh, that's, that's actually my a good fa- grade. That's my final rating. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm okay. when you say B minus for a movie, that means yes, yeah, see it, but it's it's not gonna blow you away. Yeah, and I agree. And I think, I, but my problem is a lot of movies I've seen recently. What are, else have you seen? Are in that category what to else? the point where I don't even remember. Okay, I saw Lighthouse. I haven't seen that one yet, but we it got, just looked too weird. We gotta do it. Okay, that'll be another one. On the I'll Lighthouse. see that one. Uh, I we saw the it. new Terminator. Oh, I didn't see that. See the new Terminator. The first twenty-five minutes, spectacular. That girl that's the star is. Did you see it, Craig? Oh man, the girl, she's so dope. I just love she's just sexy and beautiful so and what powerful. Year does this, take place? this is like, oh, 
Here's my problem. Explain too. it to me. Okay, they've gotten rid of. They, they they did this thing where they're like, you're supposed to forget all the other Terminator movies. This is literally supposed to be right after Terminator Two. Okay, because this is James Cameron and all that, and I can't do that. I can't. There's five shitty Terminator movies Dude, in my Edward head. Edward for, uh, for Long is forever ingrained. He's they. He's in it. He's not in it, but they 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 did like some kind of like maybe it's lost footage or something. Right, right. But he's in the movie. See, Dude, it, I'm a huge fan. Okay, well, in this movie, I don't want to give you a spoiler. I mean, spoiler. I could get this is a huge spoiler. I'm not gonna watch. It. Okay, spoiler alert for Terminator Two. You're not going to pay attention? Okay, yeah. Craig's got his... You, how are you going to edit this then? Um, but in this version of Terminator, the Terminator actually kills John Connor. So he actually kills him. That's Edward for long, though. Yeah, he kills him. So he is in this. No, but it's like... Time lapse? No, no, no. It's like, I don't know if this is footage or if they use like C CGI or something, but he's in the movie. What? Yeah, he's in young the movie. As, yes. So it's young Edward. Yes, Furlong. from T two. Yes, and he and he. Um, how and did he, they, how did they do that with CGI? I have no idea, bro. But it was great. I'm telling you, the special effects in this movie is great. It's how's, so spectacular. How's Arnold? He's Arnold. He's like an old man. You know, he's like it's fine. But this is what scared me. They had Mexican Terminator. You know, they work harder. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's what I thought in the movie. I was like, oh, this is a scary Terminator. Were you a Mexican Terminator? He was like, oh, he was great. So how are they advanced? Are they what, what makes them different what than the is other? The, the whole, liquid one. The, the whole universe one. is like cracked off now. So basically, like all the whatever Sarah Connor knows of the future of like Skynet and all that, it didn't happen. But it still happened. Like a new Oh, so that was altered. The future was the Oh, because he got he killed Edward. Yes, oh. but there's a but there's a new resistance and a new like you know whatever oh happened. Oh my but god! But let me give you a big. This is keep the spoilers are going, but I'm gonna tell you something I just did not like about this movie. All right, at the end, Arnold kills helps to kill the the badass Terminator. Okay, they fall into like a a, a pit, whatever. The, the, they took a, a reactor from the girl and jammed it into the thing's eye, so it, it gets killed, right? But my problem is Arnold and the thing, they're there. So they're, like, dead, all right? The, 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 both Terminators are now terminated. So who's the so – But listen, listen, listen. listen wait, wait, hold on. I just need to clarify. So there's the good Terminators, the blonde girl. He just never listens. And the, the bad <laughs> Terminators, the Mexican guy. No, no, the blonde girl's not a Terminator. She's just an enhanced human. Spoiler! Keep going. So, now both Terminators are dead. Okay. And they leave. That's the same shit that happened in the first Terminator. That's how Skynet started because right. they found this robot. Oh, and they 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 they, they, they um got the technology. Right. From it. So what I'm saying is that shit is gonna happen again because they're already talking about making two more. So they're gonna do the same shit again. It's really infuriating. I was like, I was out after that. I'm out. Okay. Give give that one a rating. C minus. You see Parasite? I, I want. It was either gonna. I was gonna watch Doctor Sleep or Parasite last night. You gotta see and I Parasite, saw, dude. I'm going to. You gotta the next see one. it. That was a damn good movie. Oh, you have a little poster up. Yeah, Craig got a, uh, got me a poster. From I must see it. Arc Light, is it so. a, is it an English movie? Is it in English? No, it's in Korean. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that must be great for you because you can understand what the fuck they're saying. Um, for the most part, the only problem that I I gotta read the shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, my Korean's not the best, but I understood probably seventy percent of. That's it. more than. Yeah. That's probably made it better for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you looking for? So what's what are you looking forward to as far as like video games, movies coming Nothing, out? Nothing, man. Are I'm you? Have you been? What's up with your gaming, man? I just with realized Griffin that. with Griffin. I want to start talking. Oh, about Oh, that's different. That now. That's different. Griffin with Griffin's the podcast. Griffin. I mean, I mean, Griffin Gaming. I, Sorry. Nothing's going on. I'm just playing. <laughs> are you streaming? Yeah. What what game are you playing now? I'm still playing Destiny. You still playing Destiny? Yeah. I played Modern Warfare. Yeah. That game is spectacular. Better than Destiny? This is different. Yeah. But Modern Warfare. It's a first person shooter? That, the, but I'm saying the special, the, the graphics and like what's happening in the game is so fun because like you got, you know, people are jumping out and like you have to use the flashlight. It's like very realistic, you know? Is there PvP online where you can play other people? Yeah. So is it is it easier or harder than Destiny PvP? Crucial? Oh, it's way harder because the time to kill is like pat pat dead. What? Yeah. 
But Modern Warfare is fun. And I haven't really got into any other games. Oh, I actually, let me tell you what I have been playing. What? On my PS4, I've been playing Spider-Man. That fucking game is great. <laughs> That's Spider-Man? such a fun game. Explain it. Like, well, they don't it. have. It's just like you ever, you ever play Batman Arkham Knight. I love that. We talked about same this. thing. I love same thing. Batman. Ba- Arkham. Spider-Man is very similar. Asylum. That was very great. similar, right? Don't you think so, Craig? Yeah. It's very similar. Open world and yeah. you're like doing all these missions, and it's, it's so fun. If you Spider-Man could, is the fu- that's the funnest game I've played in a long time. If you could create, and I play Destiny on my PlayStation because now they have this cross saving. So it's great. What do you mean cross saving? So you can play on your PlayStation, and then when you finish playing, you can, you can go to your Xbox and pick up from where you are. Everything's the but same. But those are two different consoles. It's, but the Destiny server is the same. Oh, You my can't cross play, but you can play like, you know, so that's pretty fun. So what's the light level now? 950. And then what's the meta? I want to talk about the meta. I have no idea. I never you don't know even that know- stuff. I never know what's the best gun. You don't have Ariana's file hand cam? Uh, none of that shit. See, I don't even play and I know more than you guys. Yeah. I watch all the videos. Then why don't you play? Do you have Randy's throwing knife? No. The new, that's an exclusive scout rifle. That's like better than the Mida multi-tool. I probably shouldn't be eating. So if you could create a game that doesn't exist right now. Mm-hmm. Me and Bob talked about this. What if there's a superhero gang, game? Where you could literally create your own superhero and then play against, you know what I'm saying? Bobby loves that kind of shit. Where it's just like <laughs> loner shit, being Frankenstein. Yeah, but wouldn't that be interesting? No. <laughs> not at all. That sounds terrible. Oh, yeah, Cyberpunk. I'm not excited if it's just a game that once you complete it, it's over. And it, Or it better take me six months to finish it. Then I'll like it. What are, what could, ha- I mean, when you're doing this YouTube, the, going back to the content creating, is this the only thing that I'll be able to do? Like, do you think that there's any other opportunities that might arise? Yeah, man. From doing this kind of content? I want to talk about that. You like, could be, you could, you know what you could do? What? Piano lessons. <laughs> I, I play the same shit. I, 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 yeah, I, but I you could be doing like how to make music. You know, you could be doing a bunch of stuff. How to like, you know, how to live like a minimalist, you know? Here's what you do. Put all your posters on one wall, you know? Have you thought of live vlogging on Twitch? Yeah, let's talk about live vlogging Twitch versus uh, YouTube and, uh, and all that. I can't gain any traction on Twitch. And You've been on it for a while. Twitch is just, I don't know who these people are that watch Twitch. No, but he was showing me something. People don't even play games anymore. I know. They're literally just like. Talking to the camera, or it's well, no. it's in a different place because because they see because there's more shit like that on YouTube. YouTube makes so much money from yeah. people's regular content, so Twitch is just going. It's just smarter than to be like, well, let's just be the direct competitor to YouTube. That's oh, all. Oh right. Yeah. But why is it? Because you have a lot of followers on Twitch. Oh, I, I do not. You have like thousands of followers, don't no, you? Yeah, that, that that doesn't mean anything. Just to give you an example. Yeah. So when I stream live on YouTube, I have like 35,000, 36,000 fans on YouTube. From the, so I'll get like 300, 400 people watching me live. But it, it, but it goes from, say, it'll be like 160 or between 160 and 400 or watch me live. From th- you know, I just started a, new, I started a new channel because... You did? Yes, because I was talking to somebody at YouTube, <coughs> and it's better to separate that stuff. Oh, so yeah. what did you start the new one for? To, to just do gaming on it. So then I don't have to worry about, like, messing with my podcast fans. Oh, that's all that separate. Bugging them all the time. I can just, oh. Then I can just stream whenever. I, like, last night I streamed at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I saw yeah, Craig yeah. on. I was trying to hit, but you must have just gotten off. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. I, uh, so I just went. So the, so when you have just a gaming channel, you could just game whenever, and it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and I, then I was more ex- more exclusive on my podcast channel because I didn't want to like bombard it with gaming stuff. And then you still get donations, like yeah. people. Oh, that's Crazy. cool. Yeah, I keep telling you. I mean, the thing is, I'm. I'll go on Twitch, but I don't. The only game I really play is De- I like playing Destiny with then you play guys. Destiny. But it's like, I, do people really want to see me just play? People, uh, you know. Those fucking idiots. You know, no, no. The thing is, they, they, they. 
they like our conversation. They like our conversations. Go on YouTube and just go to the gaming section of YouTube and put Destiny in. And look how many people are watching people play Destiny. And then just play by myself without you guys? But the whole fun part, I like playing with you guys. Then we can still play and you could just stream yourself. How many times? I'm so sick of telling him the same thing for fucking years, man. You've been telling, how long you've been telling? Yeah, this is a nightmare. <laughs> how long you've been telling me this? Hey, now, I th- are you heating up <laughs> Dude, the coffee on the hot plate? Don't go back to that, friend. <laughs> I like how the hot plate is by the door. Hey, I, I got... Is this because you don't want the AC messing with it? <laughs> I, I cook stuff, man. I Dude, cook what stuff. are you cooking at? Do you like fry eggs and stuff like that? Eggs, rice, soup. Bacon, sausages. This is what I see. He's got an old school like skillet, like that's an iron skillet. Yeah, dude. You're from using, Target. You're using an iron skillet. Yeah. <sighs> Look, man, I don't got a kitchen in here, man. Just work with me. You know what I mean? You know what work this looks like? Me. This place looks like. Here we go. This is what the you zombie the- apocalypse happened. Okay, and okay. this is like an underground bunker. What my <laughs> No, keep going. I like what you're doing. <laughs> this keep is like going. a bunker, you know, and you survive, you know, keep like zombie land. You know what yeah. I mean? And this is what you'd have in there. You, you know? know the thing about me is even if, Tell I, us, Steve. even if I had a million dollars. You'd still live like a $2 hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I would still live like this. I know. You're a minimalist. I don't, I don't need much. I, I, we, Steve, part, we see that. The sad part is if you moved out, people would be jumping on this place. See what yeah. I'm saying? If he, say that again. If I were if I moved out, people would be jumping to get in here. Yeah. But it's a room. It's just one room. No yeah. kitchen. Yeah, but yeah. okay. Let's say if Craig moved, this wouldn't be the same. What are you, what are you talking about? Because then you just you'd really be like by yourself in like a little corner hovel. Oh yeah. You. I I see. I talk to Craig. I see him almost every day or every other day. Imagine if he wasn't here. That's my whole point. This would be <sighs> different. So if he hits it in Bitcoin, then he's gone. I got rid of my Bitcoin. I was tired of the up and wait, down. Wait, you got rid of the... Can we talk about a little bit about Bitcoin? There's nothing to talk about because I don't know what it is. It's like Dr. <laughs> Sleep. I don't know what it is. I don't know I don't know why it has value. I don't know. Yeah. And I just was like sick of hearing about, oh, it's going to rise to 50000 I was like, yeah. it's never going to happen. I mean, give me get my money and spend it on some shit. Oh, you just took it all out? Yeah. You took it all out? Yeah. Of everything. No, I still have this other dumb coin that like I'm losing money on. So I have Z coin. Yeah, my Z coin is like what I'm is, I'm waiting for that to like come back up. What does the Z coin do? I, Steve. Cause ex- I don't know what any of these coins do, man. It makes no sense to me. Because well XRP, for example, it's bank to bank transactions. Yeah, and so it's if not you catching wanna, on. If you want to s- send money to someone in England, you could it, it'll be instant, you know, opposed to that's called Zelly money, money gram. Or no, they like have that. it now. It's all the the, the no, bank, but this is this no, no, is a dude, global the bank, no, thing. no, dude. The this, banks have already the banks have already uh, uh, fought back on that. The banks were like, okay, you want money to go instantly? We'll make it instant. Now it's instant. There's no I'm just waiting for anymore. But that's the reason for XRP. That that's what that that coin is. Do you know for. how many you know how many coins do that? They like all XRP, do that. That do exactly what XRP. Yes, that's why it's worthless. That's why but, but it's not. But the XRP is on the, the forefront. It's like the main one that people no, are looking at. it's not the main one. If it was the main one, it'd be worth more than $3. How much is it? It's, it's oh, 30. sorry. 30 cents. It's 30 cents. Do you think a thing that's worth 30 cents is like, I'm this kidding. is going to be the industry standard? No, Steve. Wait at two years. I oh, think, yeah, Jesus It's going to go up to $10. Are you the person that got him involved yeah, got in this me, shit? Yeah, he got oh, me involved. Yeah, he got me involved. Yeah. I made money on Bitcoin. Everybody made money on Bitcoin. So, but you took you you took <laughs> you, you. I bought Bitcoin at like f- when it was like I don't know what it was three or four thousand whatever it was, and then then it like you know when it went at the, at the rush did everybody you know. All right, we'll I get off my it. money on Litecoin. Um, so let's go back to your comedy and like specials and every like. So <laughs> let's let's talk about <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? I'm just trying to mix it up. Oh, you're are to you trying to mix it up? Are you, <laughs> are you working on a new special? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm always working on material, and the point of it would be to put it out on a platform like that. But what I'm starting to think now is that when I come up with a solid bit, and if I'm on the road and I record it, I'm going to start releasing that stuff on YouTube. Oh, on yeah, your channel. Yeah, you know, on my channel. I can, so I can make my own money on my own material. 
because you can monetize it. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh God, you're right. Yeah. So what's the point of having Showtime or Netflix put out your? Well, shit? the point of that is like you you're reaching a larger number of people. Yeah, but and they get all the money. They're giving you a bunch of money. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know. The world's changing, man. So the future is going to be like you don't need these companies, right? Exactly. That's what you really want. You don't want you want it to be where. You know, you're. You, this is my kind. Of, that's what people are doing. Guys like Andrew Schultz. You get, what is he doing? Yeah, he's out there. Well, he's he's he built his fame and fortune on uh, YouTube. Off YouTube? Yeah, man. So he put all his his bits. He put a whole special out on YouTube. On his channel. Yeah, on his channel. Do you have to pay for it though? No. You just like you how did how did but he, he could do that if he wanted to? You know, he had, they have the, the membership. Thing. They have the thing. But how did he find the space? How did he get the people out? Like how did he edit? He's, like I, I he he hired his own crew. Who knows? But you know. So that's the you future. You don't need a Steve. Look, you're doing your own show right now. Yeah, you but this is own, a podcast. How is it any different? Because that's like at an arena or like a. It's not a, an like, arena. What are like you talking it's about, pub, Steve? You have to fill up the seats. So what, Steve? If you had 16 people in here right now. You could probably fit 16 in here watching this live. People standing over there, sitting with Craig, sitting on his lap. And then, like, you know, you have people over here. Somebody's in the bathroom. Oh, my God. You just gave me a great idea. And then idea. you could just film this live, and it would be the same kind of thing. Can we do? Just hear me out. Oh, God. Dude, <laughs> we're almost done. Did you have Chuck my minutes? time. <laughs> no. Dude, this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. for, for the future, if, like, we do, like, something together, what mm -hmm. if we go to All Things Comedy mm -hmm. and we do a live kind of a podcast deal with the Steve, studio audience. Steve, I've already audience. told you about this. I wanted you and Bobby to come to the improv and do Riffin with Griffin in the lab in front of a live audience. You That th that exists? Yes. Why don't we just do that? You know I'm down, dude. I just want to get this skillet. You know I'm I wanna, down. I wanna, Whatever you need, I'm, I'm there. I'm going your face you with know, this skillet. I, you know I'm down. <laughs> Guess what? I want to know how you did this fucking magic trick. <laughs> What? You want to know? Hey. Okay, hold up. No, 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 not oh, no, no, I'm going to do it one more time. No. Just what no. you caught. No, 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 I don't trust you. No, let's not. Let's okay. Because the magic might get okay. distorted. So we're, we're, we're getting to the last 10 minutes. This is the time to promote. Is uh, it? Yeah. All right, well. You got to go to your set. I, wanna, I don't want you to miss I'm your on, set. I'm uh, on. Watch Riffin with Griffin, as you know. They, they already know. Everybody that watches this already knows about yeah, us. Yeah, and okay? I've been promoting Riffin with Griffin at... On my yeah. shout out, so Riffin, it, Riffin with Griffin. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I always talk about mm -hmm, Stevie Steve. Mm -hmm. um, so you got that, and then I got my dates on my calendar. I'm going to be mm -hmm. in like, actually, let me just look at, I don't yeah, know when yeah, this yeah. is going to come out. When is this episode coming out? About two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, no, oh we're ahead. God. That's why we're ahead. Oh, you're all oh, good for you yeah, guys. Yeah. So two weeks, that makes it like, so then, okay, so then the 28, okay, I'll be in. For Thanksgiving weekend, I'm going to be at Stand Up Live in Phoenix. There you go. So if you're in Arizona, folks. Yeah, come to Stand I got two, go just two, yourself, I think I got four shows, the twenty, the Friday and okay. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see, after that, I'll be December 5th, um, December 5th through the 7th, I'll be at Levity Live in Oxnard, California. Keep going, keep going. Uh, and then for New Year's, I'll be in Spokane at the Comedy Club. Spokane Comedy Club for New Year's, two okay. shows. Are, That's it. Like yeah, any like TV? No, well, or? I did this movie called The Sleepover, a Netflix movie. What it's is called that the out? And I think it comes out in June, though. So okay. we've got plenty of time to talk about that What shit. about merch? You don't want shirts or CDs? Or well, what? actually, I finally got a singing mic shirt on, uh, and I have it on. Uh, Steve, they can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> so you can get your singing mic shirt on at Griffin with Griffin on the YouTube. Oh, Whoa, shit. <laughs> Wow, we got to get Steve uh, some studio stuff here. Okay. This fucking thing, man. Uh, uh, this is done. <laughs> yeah, that's been done. I can't believe you're still using that. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, that's it? Yeah, what do you what got? What about Instagram? Instagram, yeah, All that stuff's going to be down below, right? You're going to put on my links and everything? At, I'm at Eric Griffin everywhere. Okay, at Eric Griffin. Mm -hmm. So now do your, okay. your sell things e -R -I -K now. E-R-I-K-G-R-I-F-F-I-N. Who wrote this? Eric Griffin. <laughs> it's not with a C, it's with a K. Okay? <laughs> So that I was, should do like you do to me. I should read this. No, no. You, you do this to me on my podcast all the time. I want to read it. Okay. Patreon. That's a new one. Oh. That's a new patron this week. Oh, it is? Yeah. Dylan Arviso? Okay. Who's that? He's our, my new patron. 
Oh, hey, Dylan. Thanks for <laughs> supporting Riff. Not Riffin with Griffin. Thanks for supporting Stevie Weeby. And start supporting Riffin with Griffin. <laughs> Stick to the script. Stick to the script. Uh, so go to StevieWeebyShow.com. Go to Patreon.com, Stevie Weeby. Instagram, Kwaijo. That's how you say it? Kwaijan. Kwang U. Kwang U. Oh, Kwang U. Nobody spell knows what out. the fuck spell, that is. Q U A N G O U. Kwang Wu, which is actually his Korean name. That's his real name, which is why he went to Steve. This is horrible. I don't know why. StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's my music's on there. Oh, his music's on there. Steve's still making music, guys. Yeah. So go to StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. Coming to a theater near you. You have to name the one guy that bought something. Oh, who, it's, where it's, is he? It's under the top right under music. Oh, Michael Martinez. Thank you, Michael Martinez, for buying shit from the Stevie Weeby Music Store. And if you want to send things to Stevie Weeby, send it to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, Los Angeles, California, 90093, to send stuff. I think I did it all. No, at the bottom, I promote other people's podcasts, oh. including yours. Okay, we got, I don't know what this is. The I can't Lasco, read Lasco Projects. Lasco Projects, Necro Electric, and Riffin with Griffin. And, of course, Worst Fire Team Ever. Is that still a thing? <laughs> yes. Um, worst, it's like the wait, Worst Fire Team I'm, now is like if the Beatles only had Ringo and... <laughs> Oh, man. It's like Ringo and George is the only Beatles left. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, did you do everything? You did everything. I wanted to really emphasize Patreon.com, okay, because that's what's keeping Stevie this. Stevie Weeby, not Patreon, just not just Patreon. Patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Yeah. Make your pledge to keep this show going, okay? And by show, he means I this do. apartment. <laughs> StevieWeebyShow.com for merch. What kind of merch you got going on these days? I don't know, shirts, sweatshirts, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of different stuff. Um, you should get buy like, something. You should get like you should sell like. <laughs> Dude, I don't skillet, like what you're skillet doing. Skillet holders. I don't like what you're doing right <laughs> now. That'd be man. great if you like get your Stevie Weeby skillet holder. <laughs> this is where he puts his coffee, guys. That's how Steve puts his coffee. I should have brought you a coffee. But I was like running late. I'm just going to breathe it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done here. Do we have a minute left? <laughs> Dude, you son of a gun. All right, man. Uh, I love you, man. Yeah. Pound. As always. Um, yeah. Remember, and look out for us. We're going to do, we're going to watch The Shining, the original together. And uh -huh. we'll do like a. Oh, I'm working on a new uh, EP called Ode to, my, Ode to My Pops. It should be out in a, a couple months. So oh, really? look out for that. Yeah. It's uh, based around my father. And well, everything. I think we got the gist of that, Steve. <laughs> Okay, I if love you. If you had said "Oh to my pops," you were like, "It's about apple pie." That would have been fucking weird. <laughs> okay, and there's no little Ray's world this week, but it'll be back next week. Love you guys. See ya. Uh -huh. <laughs>